Hello and welcome back to Off-Road Adventures. Today we're taking a trip down south to somewhere I've wanted to go to for a while, Pukane State Forest. It's part of the Everglades. We're meeting up with some fellow trail stompers as well as at least Florida's first real off-roading Rivian RT1. I'm excited to see what it can do. So without further ado, let's get into it. In the first three Jeeps here, we've got Tony, Scott, Emma, and Heidi. You all know our FJ and see if you can spot Gage's new upgrade. He did it just for this trip. Barry here is going to be leading us in the orange YJ and the FJ40 is our tail gunner. And here we have Chad in what has to be the first Rivian RT1 actually being used for off-road in Florida. Let's see what it can do. Because of the type of terrain we expected, we are down to about 20 PSI this time. Oh look, horses! The entrance to our first real trail is pretty much a pond. Barry, are you sure you know where you're taking us? I guess it is the Everglades. Let's get into it. It was about here that I realized we were in some pretty serious gamer territory. If you spot one on film, no. This seemed like a good place to stop and stretch the legs a little bit. Why not, right? There are a lot of places around Florida where you can go through mud bogs and water holes and stuff like that. Uh, but they only take up a little bit of the trail. Down here, I want to say there was a solid 80% of this trail, the actual trail, that was underwater. Very cool. We're coming up on one of the deepest water crossings of the trip. Now, right in front of us is the Rivian RT1. I was told it was supposed to float if it goes past three feet of water depth. But uh, let's see what happens in this electric truck. Crazy hole. Oh, he went under! Oh. <laughs> Woo! Wow! Wow. Let's see if anybody else is brave enough. Well, I guess it just sinks and keeps going. Hmm. To do it or not to do it? Alternator off. Dash pissed. Pedal to the floor and send it. Not this time, Barry. That said, for any of y'all watching, I would recommend going around. Well, what happened here? 
I'm gonna have to take that off. Huh? Yeah, you're in a rut. You gotta go like off to the, the side a little bit more. Like another like foot and a half. Gage got a little framed out in the ruts here, but fortunately Scott in the background there was quick on the winch and got him out safely. And here he goes attacking it off to the side to get around the ruts this time. Textbook. Karen in Ocala. It's just like her, Barry down here in the Everglades. He's an excellent trail guide, very informative, kept everyone safe, and really knows this place like the back of his hand. Can't recommend him enough, guys. You got a very significant deep hole, so you might want to stay to the side of it. I rode it far left. You'll see my marks going up in the grass. That about does it for our first trail, officially conquered down here. Now onto the main road south. Uh, believe me, they are actually main roads. It is late in the summer season, so the roads quickly turn into little flooded sections like this, and eventually just massive water crossings. I took the lead here just to show you guys how crystal clear this water is. Between that and the blue reflected sky, I mean this place is beautiful. It really squashes the misconception about swamps being dirty. Come on down and see for yourself. After reviewing some of this footage, it appears that it was water that was pushing forward on the front fender linings and front bumper of Gage's XJ here. It seemed to be enough to pop the little plastic rivets and push that bumper out. Nothing a couple zip ties can't fix. We soon turned onto a trail heading east and holy heck, solid ground. Just kidding. Hey, look who's still with us. 
Turns out electric trucks can flow through some decent water. Way to go, Chad. Being the first person to get a Rivia down in the blades and really put it here to paces like this. Takes guts. are actually considered roads, but the ones that aren't, just like some of the other WMAs, are clearly labeled. Pay attention. Gators like these nice, open, deeper areas. So I really kind of thought we would see them here, but all we saw were a couple of bass. Not to say they weren't there. Keep your eyes peeled. Well, we did it. We made it all the way east in Pukane, all the way to Fakahachi State Park. In order to stay in Pukane, we turned around and took a slightly different way home. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. Well, we can be live with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for.
Now that we've made it back to the main road, I want to send out some special thanks to Barry who led us through this trail. It was an absolutely amazing day. Chad who let us take footage of the very first Rivian that was actually legitimately fording water. Everyone who traveled down south for this trip. And all of you who like, comment, and subscribe on our videos. We really appreciate each and every one of you. We'll see you next time on Off-Road Adventures.